a question. Why is that ABS light on all the time? Can I still drive the car with an ABS light lit? First, we have to understand what the ABS, the purpose of it is. When you, when you brake, especially when you brake quickly or very harshly or aggressive, your wheels tend to lock up. As a result of that, you might skid. Then you will try to, obviously, correct that with your steering, like this, right? Well, it seems that your steering will have no effect because your, your tires are going this way, are going this way, and you're trying to avoid that with your steering going the other way, but you can't. <clears throat> this comes into play. This will help that. This has a modulator that will prevent the, when it feels that the um, tires lock up and braking, it will prevent hydraulic pressure and it'll help you gain momentum back with your steering. So it is important if you suddenly have to stop to avoid a car, it does help you so it doesn't lock up. Now, we have to go to the schematic associated with this is a few things let me show you first of all okay the indication the indication to the driver to the driver telling him ABS light is on this has to do with this module over here <clears throat> not actually too important but just to inform the driver now the most part the most important part is where does the module or the computer get this information from that the car is locked up um, the wheels locked up where does it get this information from that brings us to speed sensors the revolutions of the tires when it gets locked up decreases it has less revolutions so the sensors, these are the sensors obviously for each tire, one, two, three, four, they will sense that, that it is locking up by less revolutions. So for example, just an example, let's say you have 100 revolutions on one, 100 revolutions on the other one, it locks up, now you have less than those revolutions, it will sense that. Where, what will it do with that information? It will go, uh, it will give it to this control unit, the modulator control unit. Now, you see all these? All these go, this is fr uh, left front, as you can see a B plus and a ground, all the signal going back to this. Here, for this one, as you see these two, this is this, this is the other one, and this is the other one. So, it's there's information going on here to the modulator in addition to that in addition to that as you can see up here there's another steering angle sensor involved in steering this is almost like a tr uh, tr traction control what do I mean by that when your steering wheel is held in this position right it's straight the wheel should be straight when I'm turning the wheels this way the wheel should also be in that direction. But what happens if I turn the steering wheel and the wheels are still going straight? So in other words, I'm planning to turn, but the wheels are going straight. I'm gonna go straight because that's what the wheels are pointed to, right? That's what this sensor is for. The steering should match the angle of the tires or the vehicle so to say so if i'm straight with the straight with the steering wheel wheel should be straight that'll tell it that sensor will tell will tell this one the angle of it the the information if i want to make a left turn want to make a left turn the wheel should turn but if it don't the angle changes in degrees so it'll give this information to the modulator the modulator will take all this information the, from the speed sensors, from the steering, from the steering angle sensor. So you have one sensor, right? You have these are connectors, like we said, f uh, five pins, right? 
These are the pins with connectors. These are connectors. See these little circles, whatever, half circles? And the information will come from the speed sensors. So you have sensors on the wheels, sensor on the steering wheel. The modulator will take care of the rest. <clears throat> It'll control the pump for the hydraulic fluid, for the fluid to stop the wheels from locking up so that you can gain control again of, the, of your steering. So if you're going this way, obviously you want to correct it by going the other way. It'll correct it. That's why you feel the pumping in the, in, in the brakes when you hit it very hard. So now, in order to this, to, to this happen, we still need the brake pedal, as you see over here, brake pedal right here, has to be in a closed position. Why? Because I'm on the brake. So from the fuse, which is 20 amps, come down the white block, black, this one over here. Let's follow it. This one here, here, here. And it goes to the PCM. The PCM, I don't know if you can see it, if you can see it, the PCM, which is right here, the PCM is right here, has to know that you are on the brake. Now, there's another one. There's another one over here, sensor cluster on floor under that. So, there's serial data. You see these? These are serial data lines going to these modules from this one. Let's see if I can get it. Okay. Now, coming over here. These are computer lines. These computer lines, high, low, and all these lines are giving information to that module, telling it what's going on. In other words, you press the brake. Wheel sensor say, you know what, you locked up. Speed sensor says, no, your steering wheel doesn't match the pointing of the, the wheels or the angle. PCM says, okay, we got work to do. We got to get that pump working and we got to try to unlock those wheels. Many times, obviously, it could be the speed sensors, obviously. Or it could be, could be this module is known to do it, but unfortunately the pump has a lot to do with it so we know when it comes to mechanical issues the pump is usually the 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 guilty one so i hope this was helpful in understanding again there's a sensor involved there's a modulator involved so when you hear anti-brakes uh, uh, modulator you'll understand what the function of it is it gets the information from the wheel speed sensors gets the information from this tells the computer the computer says hey hydraulic pump pump you got to do your job uh, um, the driver is trying to get control but it, the wheels are locked up we got to get we got to unlock those wheels and everybody is working together again i hope this was helpful and hopefully i'll I'm going to do more of these videos. Hopefully, I'll do hands-on, and we'll see what I'm really talking about. You'll understand it better. Please go to my channel, Joe Electronics Schematics for Auto. You'll see much more videos, and I'm going to go through many videos now in this format. I think it's more organized, and I think it's, it's easier to understand this way on the big screen as opposed to just drawing it. We'll see what happens with the views. But anyway, thanks for watching, and like I said, please, I need minutes and hours. Thanks for watching.